And what else can you highlight for the experience of Daniel Vachel? 37 and 9, and I think he's just finding his stride in Bellator. It is the final night of Bellator in 2016, but it begins, as always, with Michael C. Williams. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome as Bellator MMA tonight presented by Miller Lite comes to you from Three Arena here in Dublin, Ireland, where tonight the action begins with three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing the blue corner first at five foot eight, weighing in 146 pounds even, making his Bellator debut tonight. He enters with nine professional victories, four defeats, hailing from Wexford, Ireland, presenting Brian, the white man. Across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at 5 foot 10, weighing in 145.6 pounds. The former Bellator world title challenger brings a veteran professional record with 37 victories, nine defeats from Frankfurt, Germany. Introducing Daniel Drake Eichel. In charge of the action, your referee, Mark Goddard. The Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers. It's Miller time. Brian Moore says, I may not be the best boxer. I may not be the best grappler. I may not be the best jujitsu player. But I'm good enough to beat Daniel Weiser. Well, he sees the strength and well-roundedness of Daniel Weiser. Brian Moore sees his weakness. He's not, he's not spectacular at any one thing. There are ways to beat him because he sits back and he waits. I can find those advantages because I can be better in moments than Daniel Weichel. It was an interesting analysis. Brian Moore watched the foundations piece you did on Daniel Weichel and said, hey, there are no holes in this game. He said, I found some. Yep. Daniel Weichel can just frustrate the living heck out of you. In every other sport, Jimmy, the defensive player of the year is celebrated, but not an m &O. And that's what Daniel Weichel is. You know, Georgie Garhani, an extremely experienced, not a whole lot Georgie hadn't seen. And he was literally throwing up his hands in frustration because he couldn't get anything done against Daniel Weichel. And that's the kind of frustration he brings because, and he's not just sitting back, he's not just avoiding. He lands big punches, has excellent submission game, great takedown. So he's doing damage, it's hard to damage him back. Only one to really do it was Patricio Pitbull when Daniel Weichel got a little too aggressive. And he got too aggressive because Patricio Pitbull was a half inch away. Had him hurt him. Five more seconds in the first round, and he's the champ. Good overhand right by Brian Moore. Right now, I like the physical pressure Moore is bringing. He's the one moving forward. He's making Weichel take his back to the fence and play the outside. Weichel fighting in front of his brother and his father, which he has not done in years. World champion Daniel Strauss getting ready to return in early 2017. Will it be Daniel Weichel? Will it be Patricio Pitbull? One thing about combat sports, I don't care if it's boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, it tends to reward exceptionalism over consistency. You tend to remember the guy who had the big knockout, the big flashy submission, more than the guy who just kept winning by decision. The problem with Daniel Weichel, there's a weakness to his style. And it could be part of the competition he's faced in Bellator is he's been the consistent guy. He just beats everybody, but a decision over Pat Kern, a decision over Georgie Karahanian, a decision over Emmanuel Sanchez. He just goes to work and beats guys, but it's not flashy, it's not spectacular. That will change for Baisha when he gets into the fence. Close your eyes and think about all the highlights you see of Bellator. All the knockouts, all the spectacular finishing. So many of the same guys are on that tape, both winning and losing. You never see Baisha. Exactly. Exactly. And the one 
one time. He seemed yeah. close to that. He got caught. Nice ankle pick. This is where Vaishwami he does get finishes. Here's where it is. On the round. Submission wins. One who can you see more trying to protect that right side. Because Vaishwami will step over and get that other hook in if he can. Now, this is a very close round up to this point. Vaishwami needs to turn it around. He got it in. There you go. Second hook in, flatten him out. 62 seconds is a long time. He's literally right in front of his corner. More able to turn, but now in full now. Trying to walk the fence. Good stuff by Moore. The Vaishal tenacious with that back control. It may not be enough to win the round, but it may be enough to see a second. Well, Hart for the rear naked again. Can't quite get it. That's how we got Scott Cleve. Scott Cleve almost turned out of that rear naked, but he finished it anyway. Now going on triangle. That's it. He got it. Vaishal just went point A, point B, point C to another W. The way Daniel Vaishal does it, great finish, but technique, technique, technique. The first time that Brian Moore has been submitted in a seven-year pro career. Look at the positioning here. He has full mount. And this is what you do. You try to finish it on top first before you hop off and give up position. He's able to finish right here. Beautiful stuff, not even stepping on a mount, but look at the extension with his left leg. It's a great combination where he's kind of getting off to the right-hand side, but he doesn't step off all the way out of full mount. So if it doesn't work, he just goes back to mount. Beautiful jujitsu. And Moore did everything he could, trying to hold on to the ear, trying to create space. Just too much pressure by the German Daniel Weichel, and it's all over. Checkmate. He was too good for Brian Moore. Will he be too good for the featherweight world champion? That's the question. 22 submission victories for Daniel Weichel at the ripe old age of 32. Did he do enough to become the number one contender? So how do you beat Daniel Weichel? That's the question. He continues to impress over and over again. Not only is he still in the win column, he is back in the stoppage column. Let's make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of an arm triangle. Official time, four minutes, 44 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, Daniel Drake Weichel. 38 wins and the featherweight world champion in his sights. Daniel Weichel is with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your winner, Daniel Weichel. Daniel, here against an Irish fighter, Irish crowd. He came at you strong in that opening round. He switched to the takedown. Was that because he was so aggressive? Hey, this fight was all about winning. I guess I have an appointment now with Daniel Strauss. He heals up, he fights next year. You have faced a murderer's row in Bellator, some of the best names out there. What's your message to the champ? Hey, I'm ready. I hope you healed up. I'm ready whenever. I've been waiting too long. Now let's do this. The end of that fight, the arm triangle on the ground. You had the mount, you had gone rear naked, and then back to the uh, arm triangle. You didn't hop off all the way. You got it from the mount. Did you know you were going to get that finish? You know, it was almost the end of the first round. Yes, I, I felt my... My arm position was 100% right, and uh, 10 seconds are enough to finish that joke. Well, you faced some of the best at 145. You know Daniel Vaishil heals up. I hope you get a chance at 2017. Congra congratulations to you. Thank you. It was a pleasure fighting at Bellator again.